Hey, what's up everyone? Today I'm going to be taking you guys through me reorganizing my art supplies. Now this is only a portion of my art supplies that um, gets held in my pencil cases. The rest of my art supplies are things I've not used in a really long time, like acrylics, oils, watercolors, paint brushes, and also some other pens and pencils. But if you want, I'll show these at some point in a later video, like an art studio tour or an art makeover tour or whatnot. So I have two pa main pencil cases. This one here is my chunky boy. <laughs> um, he stores most of my art supplies, like fine liners, brush pens, coloured Prisma pencils, graphite markers, and just other bits and bobs like rubbers and pencil sharpeners. This pencil case is a complete mess from back at uni, where I'd be so busy that I'd just shove pens and pencils wherever rather than putting them in their actual holders. So today I'm going to be taking them all out and then sort of categorising them and then putting them back in, in order. And this is my other pencil case. It's much smaller and used generally as like a day-to-day -day carry around case. Because of this, I have my favourite supplies in here, the ones that I use the most. This case is really handy for versatility. It can be attached around your waist in a wearable item. So let's just say you're standing drawing or even painting on an easel and you need another brush or pen, you could just pull it out from the sort of like belt pencil case and use it. If you are interested in this case, I can find a link and put it down below for to purchase it. So I'm just going to do the same with this pencil case, I'm going to take everything out and then I'm going to put it all into categories and then I'll reorganise. What I had in mind for this reorganisation was one, aesthetics, and two, effectiveness. I wanted to be able to open up my pencil case every time and find it visually appealing to look at. So having all the brands in the same location, pens in one bit and pencils in another, and the colours flowing, and also size of liners in order for the micros, I think they're called. I can't believe I can't remember. <laughs> Um, doing this would hopefully make me less likely to throw the pens or pencils just in the back of the case when I was done and instead put them where they belong. And then also effectiveness. I wanted to make sure that I set this up in a way where I wasn't having to search for what I needed and that most used supplies were in my day-to-day -day pencil case. So right now what I'm doing is I'm testing out all my pens. I'm making sure they work before I actually put them back in the pencil case. Um, I'm just doing this because there would be nothing worse than, let's say, going to use that pen and then finding out it's actually not worked at all. Um, for effectiveness reasons, that would be very low. So yeah, I'm just trying that out. And it's also given me an opportunity to remember what pens I really like so I can start to separate them between my day-to-day -day pencil case and also my like, a chunky boy pencil case. So I've now separated them between the ones that do not work and then the rest of the pens that do work and I'll then be dividing them up between my day-to-day -day and my larger pencil case. The next thing I'd recommend if you yourself is, are also reorganising your pencil case is going about and sharpening all of your pencils. This aesthetically is also really appealing because then you don't need to like, like let's say maybe it's just me that does this but sometimes I'll look at my pencils and if they're not sharpened, it's almost like I can't be bothered to use those ones and I'll use a different one. But then I guess it depends on how you use coloured pencils because I primarily use them just for sketching. Whereas I know a lot of people also use like Prisma colours especially for full on illustrations. So I don't know, maybe you guys are a lot more ahead and don't mind sharpening your pencils, but I just can't be bothered. <laughs> um, so yeah, if you're reorganising, sharpening your pencils is definitely a great thing to do. It allows you the opportunity just to sharpen them, see if any of them have completely broken the lead as well and are ultimately useless, or if they're so short to the point that you might need to get like sort of pencil attachments or just bin them unfortunately. If you're looking for a cheaper alternative to pencil attachment holders, I'd actually recommend those sort of soft grip um, like pencil covers. You can stick them on the end of your pencils and they give them an extra bit of length so when you're holding them it's not so sore. 
Also, they're not as good as like the full-on proper pencil um, extenders, but they do the trick um, without having to spend as much money. I have to say that visually this is a million times better than how it looked previously. Everything looks appealing and is um, like sort of sharpened perfectly and just ideally how I would like it. Though I did sort of give up on the last section um, and ended up rushing some things more than I should have, especially like the random section in the back of the Chunky Boy case, um, just because it didn't seem to fit anywhere else, it still to me is way more efficient than it ever would have been. As for my day to day pencil case, I put supplies in that I know I would sketch with a lot and also do line art with, so for me it's ideal. There will be, no doubt, some tweaking here and there for now, but right now it's great and gives me extra motivation to use my sketchbook rather than procreate all the time. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I will see you next time for another video. Next week's video is going to be the 100s head challenge. Um, my god, was that a challenge? <laughs> um, if you like this video, feel free to like, comment and subscribe. And that I hope that this pencil case reorganisation was helpful if with any tips and tricks or that and also just satisfying to watch. And I'll see you next time. Bye!